King Edward Mine manages 22 acres of land and four historic Cornish engine houses. On a beautiful sunny June day, Phil Harris of the Cornwall Butterfly and Moth Society talks about the plants, insects and birds we have on this historic site. Well, the plant that grows in here is um, the uh, bird's foot trefoil. It grows on top of the walls here, very low nutrient um, soil. A lot of arsenic in it as well. It's quite poisonous to most plants, but trefoil seems to love it. And there's another plant in there called century, common century. It's a pink one in there. Um, but the trefoil is obviously the food plant of the common blue. Also, the dingy skipper, which is still in Camborne, one of the last places in Cornwall it's still around. And the reason it's still around in Camborne is because Camborne was always disturbed and dug up and moved and shoved around and this trefoil started to grow on bare soil and that's what the dingy skipper liked. And it's a project now to save save the dingy skipper. And quite often with birds with trefoil we get a red, there's a red bud, can you see the red bud? Usually it's a cold day that turns them a bit red I think. So it's red and yellow. Some people used to call them boots and shoes. They look like the old fashioned um, woman's boots that had a thing coming up the ankle, you know. Um, the food plant of the common blue butterfly, which lives right here, there's none today because we're in between broods at the moment. We'll have another brood in a minute, a couple of weeks' time. And um, <coughs> so that's what the common blue eats is the leaves, that bit there. And they, they can't live without that sort of thing. So we're glad to have it, it's no trouble, it doesn't take any managing. It's the flower, this is Ling, okay, Ling. We're trying to get that to flower right across this little site here, because that's what's on all the mines. So we're trying to make it more pretty, if you like, for a minute. Can you see this area here, look, this is a um, little ladybird. Again, using our, there it is, and it can fly. On a site like this, 20 acres, one problem we've got with bare soil, so we have got bare soil, but this was bare a couple of years ago, I think, um, is invading species, and that anything that comes in will grow. So this is one that came in, and we've got to get it up sometime, because it, um, it doesn't really belong here, and within 50 years it would fill this whole site, and that's probably what we don't want. We want to keep it a bit open here, we don't want trees everywhere. Um, so this here will have to be cut and took away sometime. This here's another invasive here, look. This is a local willow, grey willow. And uh, again, we don't want that in the middle of our lawn coming up, or our heather lawn. So that'll have to go. Okay, activity on site. Here's, here's the work team every twice a week, a couple hours. We've got to see our equipment. activity on site you'll lose your flowers that's pretty pretty well understood this this leaf that's stitched together here there's a caterpillar inside of it probably a red admiral you see what mm -hmm. I mean yep the rarest bird we got swifts nesting in the cracks in the in the big granite sets um, the big granite blocks which is I think um, quite a quite a, a new thing really because I've never seen it before. I think we ought to go all around Cornwall and have a look at all the en other engine houses. And when they fly into the engine house to get into the crack, they turn last minute and go in vertical. Is that amazing or no? Can you imagine that? And if they missed, well they'd be dead. And they go in at speed, like that. And um, I only realised this a couple of years ago here, when I was watching them one day, and uh, that's totally amazing, that the way they can do that. I don't know if it's ever been filmed anywhere else in England, if we could ever film it up here, the way they do it, down on Fortescue's shaft. 
summer. I mean, it really is. They're only here in high summer. Yeah. Early spring they're here. Yeah. Late autumn, autumn they're here. And they've never been here before. Oh yes, they've been here before. Yeah. But nobody's ever seen them go into those cracks before. Oh, okay. Kind of special, really. It is special. Do you think they're nesting up there? Or? Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. Definitely. They've been there for years. Oh, I've seen them there for three years now. And they're very loyal to the nest they was born in almost, you know, that sort of bird. Thank you, Phil, for this glimpse into the unique ecology and management of our mine site. There is more information on the Coolmore Butterfly and Moth Society website about their conservation work. At King Edward Mine, there is so much to explore. We hope you will visit our museum and our district within the UNESCO World Heritage Mining Landscape.